welcome to this week's Discovery Kids Online. How are you doing? Happy half term. Hi Dan, how are you? You're doing well? What have you been up to this week then, Dan? What's that? He's been chilling. Well, you look like you're very good at it, Dan. Well, I hope you get some time to chill out over the half term too, and that we maybe all get some good sunshine. So how did you feel this week? I hope you were able to ask the Holy Spirit to come and fill you and help you to be bold in whatever situations you faced. Remember, you can keep doing that every week, asking the Holy Spirit to come and be with you wherever you go. Well, this week, we're looking at another hero of the faith. Dan, did you get the box I dropped off to you this morning? It was a bit of a struggle getting there because if he gets upset, he really does bite. Uh, and he also doesn't really like strangers, so I'm not so sure you should put your hand in the box thinking about it, Dan. Um, well, I thought it would just be worth just testing whether you were brave enough and courageous enough to just give it a go. So what do you think, Dan? Are you going to put your hand in the box? And don't worry, because if there's any problems, we're on a live stream, so someone out there will call a medical professional and someone will come and look after you. Right, Dan, are you ready? Are you up for the challenge? Are you brave enough to put your hand in the box? You are? You're not going to back out? You're not? Do you think you should do it? You do? Have you got the courage? We think he's got the courage. Right, here we go. Woohoo! Well done, Dan! You found my pet lobster, Larry! <laughs> Excellent. Well, I just really wanted to see if Dan was brave and courageous enough to do something like that. How did you feel doing it, Dan? Were you a bit scared? Sometimes we face all kinds of things that might be a challenge, but we need to be courageous. You see, today we're looking at a hero of the faith, David, and he showed incredible courage. He wasn't just brave, he put his faith and his trust in God, and God gave him the courage to face and overcome a giant. You can read all about the story in 1 Samuel chapter 17. It's a great one. Now, why don't we pray, and then we're going to worship together, and of course, we're going to see giants. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you so much for Discovery Kids Online and the opportunity to come together and learn more about you and more about another hero of the faith. We pray today you'd help us to have fun with all the activities, games, craft, the story, learning about David and why he was a hero of the faith. Bless us in everything that we do. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Well, why don't we get everybody up on their feet, get yourself ready as we all sing together, Giants. Here we go. This giant stands in my way like a liar, defying your name, but there's nothing that is bigger than you, my God. You're with me Each step I take Moving forward In this battle I face There is nothing That is bigger than you My God I face my giant With you I can stand There's no denying The power in my hand Stand 
Dan, your challenge this week is to see how long you can balance on one leg. Are we ready? One, two, off we go. Oh, well done, Dan. That that looks suspiciously good. What are you up to? Oh, Dan, you're balancing on a box. That's cheating. Oh, silly Dan. Right, how are you getting on at home? Let's have a go all together. Are we ready? Balancing on one leg. One, two, three. Off we go. Oh, try at home. Steady, how are we going there, Dan? And oh, oh, well done. Did you last all that time at home? Give yourself a big clap. Why have you come to battle? You are just servants of Sol, and I am a mighty Philistine. Bring out someone to challenge me to the death! <gasps> Loser has to be the winner's servants. Here, you must take these roasted grains and ten loaves to your brothers at the camps, and take these ten cheeses to their commander, too. Make sure your brothers are okay. Okay, first thing in the morning. Challenger I can ah! face now. How are you guys? Bad. How? Oh. Come on. No one. Bring on a challenger so that we can fight! Now! This guy just won't give up. One wrong move and we're all doomed. What happens when someone kills this Philistine? <gasps> They'll become servants of us. But it's gonna take a miracle to kill this beast. What do you think you're doing here? Ah. All right, what's happening so far? I will be the one to challenge this Philistine. Are you crazy? You can't go against this Philistine. You're just a young boy. 
This Philistine has defied the armies of the living God, and I know the Lord will save me from the Philistine, like how he saved me from the lion and the bear. All right, then. Sorry, but I'm not used to wearing this kind of stuff. Come against me with your weapons, but I will come against you in the name of the Lord. That kid's good. Maybe a bit too good. Abner, do you know who David's father is? As your soul lives, your majesty. I do not know. Go find out. David, who is your father? I am the son of your servant, Jesse. Today's craft challenge, we're going to be baking some biscuits to remind us of the five stones that David used to kill Goliath and that the battle is the Lord's. Here's what you'll need. 200 grams of butter, 140 grams of caster sugar, one egg yolk, just the yolk, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, the zest of one to two lemons, depending on your taste. Oh, and you'll also need 280 grams of plain flour. Now you have your ingredients, you can begin. Place all the ingredients, except the flour, into a bowl. Give it a good old mix with a wooden spoon. Mm, I think I'm gonna need my superhero strength for this. It should end up looking like this. Now add your flour. Mix slowly at first with your spoon and it should turn into this. Now get your hands in there and turn it into a proper dough. Flour your surface, make sure it's clean. Place your dough on there and smooth it into a nice dough. Break it in half. You can freeze the other half if you want to and use it later. Roll out your dough until it's about the thickness of a pound coin. Take a circle cutter and cut out five circles to represent the stones that God asked David to collect from the stream. Take a bigger cutter and cut out five or six larger biscuits. Remove the excess, but don't throw it away you can make extra biscuits with that. Line a baking tray with some baking paper. Place your biscuits on there. And refrigerate for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, preheat your oven to 180 degrees centigrade. Once the biscuits are ready, take a knife and carve the words, the battle is the Lord's, onto them. Now bake for 8 to 12 minutes. Once they're ready, cool on a cooling rack. And there you go. You have your David and Goliath themed biscuits. So remember, the battle is the Lord's. Trust him and he'll fight for you. Mmm, delicious.
Thanks so much, Katie. What a tasty way to remember that the battle belongs to the Lord. He is in control and he decides who wins and who loses. Dan, have you got your wooden spoon ready? Because I bet you've got an afternoon of baking plan now. Now, I bet loads of you have heard the story of David and Goliath so many times. But even if you have heard it before, today I want you to go away and remember that whatever situation or challenges you may face, maybe you've experienced bullying at school or someone in your family has died or maybe you just feel really anxious about everything that's going on in the world at the moment. Whatever giant you might be facing, remember that David relied on God and he saw a victory. David trusted God and God helped him to be brave and gave him the courage to face the giant. You too can trust God. Ask him for that courage that only God can give and you can put your faith and your trust in him. Maybe today if you go outside on a walk or you go into your garden, why don't you pick up a pebble? And as you do so, you can pray and ask God to give you the courage to face giants. Dan's got a very big pebble. See if you can find one bigger than him. Now, next week, we're going to find out what happened to David a few years later when he became king and see again why he really is a hero of the faith. Now, before we finish, I've got two very important announcements. We can't wait to see you this afternoon if you're coming along to our DK in the Park event. Our theme is running the race. And so make sure you bring your running shoes because there's going to be loads of running involved. We're going to have loads of fun. So we'll see you later. Our second announcement is we're just a few weeks away from Father's Day. And we want you to send us in videos telling us why your dad makes you laugh. Maybe he tells great jokes or does really crazy dancing or whatever it might be. Get a grown up to film you, landscape, saying why it is that your dad makes you laugh and send it in to discoverykids at livecc.org.uk. You've only got until Sunday the 13th of June to get your videos in, so go and get filming. Now, that's all we've got time for today, so why don't we pray before we finish with our memory verse. Don't forget, if you can find a pebble, that's a great thing to use to help you to pray. Lord, we thank you so much for the opportunity to learn about David someone who was able to rely on you, show courage and bravery in incredible ways and to overcome the giant. We pray you'd help us this week in every situation we face to have courage that only you can give. Help us to be bold in the situations that we face and overcome giants. We pray we'd have a great half term in everything that we do. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Well, that's all we've got time for today. So we're going to head over to Discovery Dan for our memory verse and we will see you very soon. Take care. Bye. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. John chapter 10 verse 27.